Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on ordinary differential equation. In the first session, we see the basics on ODE where we learn the definitions and the general solution. Let us see the nth order linear differential equation and the general solution is going to be CF plus PI where CF is the complementary function, PI is the particular integral. CF can be found from the LHS and PI we have to found using the RHS Q of X. In session 2, we learn how to find CF for a given ODE with the conditions. If you don't watch this this two videos go to the playlist first watch this and come back to this session now in this session we are going to learn how to find pi so pi depends on the right hand side of the equation that is q of x your pi may be e power ax or a polynomial x power m or cos ax or sin ax even it is going to be log ax tan ax etc etc one by one we are going to see in the forthcoming videos in this session our concern is if my my q of x is going to be e power ax how to find the pi now let us consider my q of x is equal to e power ax and pi i can write this as function of d into e power ax we have to replace d by a that is nothing but d equal to a then we get f of a if f of a is not equal to 0 then the solution is 1 by f of a into e power ax that is our case 1. If f of a not equal to 0, then the answer is going to be simply e power ax by f of a. Next case 2, when I substitute d, sometimes my f of a may be 0. In this situation, this condition fails because 1 by 0 will become infinity. In this case, what I have to do, I have to pre-multiply by x and then differentiate the denominator alone with respect to d and we can proceed. Now we have to find f dash of a. If f dash of a not equal to 0, then the solution gets over. If still f dash of a is equal to 0, then we have to continue the procedure for f double dash of a. We continue still we get non-zero value. Hope you understand. We will go into the problems. Solve d square plus 3d plus 2 into y is equal to e power x. First let us find the cf. To find the cf we have to make the equation homogeneous. That is my right hand side is 0. Now substitute d equal to m. We will be getting the auxiliary equation m square plus 3m plus 2 equal to 0. I said use your calculator to find the roots or if it is simple you can do it manually. If it is a complex roots we have to use the formula minus b plus r minus b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. This is going to be very simple therefore my m is minus 1 minus 2 and then my complementary function is going to be a e power minus x plus b e power minus 2x. Next we are going to find pi. As I said we have to write 1 by f of d, d square plus 3d plus 2 e power x. So for our convenience I am just writing let dr is equal to denominator. So it is easy for me to calculate the denominator by assuming it as dr. According to the rule if my RHS is e power ax d should be replaced by a. Here my a value is simply 1. So now my denominator is 1 square plus 3 into 1 plus 2. So it is going to be 6. Very important it is not equal to 0. Therefore I can write my pi directly 1 by 6 e power x. My pi gets over. We already found the cf. Therefore the general solution is it is nothing but a e power minus x plus b e power minus 2x plus 1 by 6 e power x. Next, let us take the same problem with a small modification. In problem 1 we have plus, in problem 2 we have minus, that is d square minus 3d plus 2 into y is equal to e power x. Now let us see what is going to happen in the pi. As usual cf we have to make the equation homogeneous and substitute d equal to m. We get the auxiliary equation m square minus 3m plus 2. Now the roots are going to be 1 comma 2. 
therefore my cf is a e power x plus b e power 2x you can see the typed version now we are going for the pi 1 by d square minus 3d plus 2 e power x as usual we have to do the assumptions i am assuming dr equal to denominator just for my convenience calculation for the rule uh, we have the rule if the right hand side is e power a x we have to substitute d equal to a here a value is 1 therefore substitute d equal to 1 my denominator is 1 square minus 3 into 1 plus 2 but this time I get 0 and problem 1 I get 6 it is not equal to 0 if you get 0 the rule fails what you have to do you have to take the pi pre multiply with x and then differentiate the denominator alone with respect to d so we are getting 2d minus 3 e power x now again I am calculating the denominator for this value so 2 into 1 minus 3 nice this time we are getting non-zero value therefore my pi is equal to x into 1 by minus 1 e power x you can see the typed version 1 by 1 how we calculate the values now the general solution is cf plus pi that is nothing but a e power x plus b e power 2x minus x into e power x hope you understand let us go into the next problem as usual start finding the cf first then we can go for the pi make the equation homogeneous making rhs 0 find the auxiliary equation m square plus 2m plus 1 equal to 0 by seeing this we know it is obviously m plus 1 whole square therefore the roots are minus 1 comma minus 1 now my cf is going to be ax plus b because the roots are repeated and m value is minus 1 that is e power minus x next we are going to find the pi as usual we write let dr equal to denominator and the rule is d should be replaced by a here a value is going to be minus 1 because of e power minus x now my dr that is my denominator is going to be minus 1 whole square plus 2 into minus 1 plus 1 so 1 minus 2 plus 1 that is 0 oh god again it is 0 so we cannot stop the problem what we have to do i have to pre multiply x and then differentiate the denominator with respect to d 2d plus 2 e power minus x you can see the typed version now again we have to find the denominator for the new data for this 2 into minus 1 plus 2 again it is getting 0 as i said in the beginning still you get non zero we have to repeat the procedure therefore pre multiply by x already one x is there so x into x will become x square and if you differentiate 2d plus 2 we will be getting 2 into e power minus x now there is no d term i can stop the problem so my pi is going to be x square by 2 e power minus x you can see the typed version so you understand what is the rule for your rhs is e power ax therefore the general solution is ax plus b into e power minus x plus x square by 2 e power minus x just a quick recap if my denominator when i put d equal to a if it is not equal to 0 i will stop the problem suppose if it is 0 then i have to multiply with x and differentiate the denominator alone with respect to d and i have to substitute again the value a if still this is going to be 0 then i have to continue the step till i get non-zero hope you understand students this is type 1 in the next session we are going to deal with my rhs is either sin ax or cos ax people say this as type 2 we'll meet in the next video thanks for watching subscribe to our channel and share to your friends see you in the next video bye bye